Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a laundrette slash dry cleaners for all of your city building needs. And not only will I show you how to make the outside, ladies and gentlemen, but I'll also show you how to make the inside as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. But without any further ado, Let's get started. Now, just before we start building, everybody, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those and enough of those as well. The amount of space required to make the laundromat is an 18 by 15 block area, as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which I would highly recommend making if you are building a city. It will just help you plan things out a lot better. And... That's it. Pause the video if you have to. Make sure you got all that stuff. Make sure you got enough room to make it. Make sure you're ready. And once you are, we can begin. Step one, laundry friends. Come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid. If you've made it. Begin the build by placing three block of quartz on top of each other. One, two, three. Place 16 quartz slabs going right of the third quartz block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Stick a block of quartz on the end and join it down to the ground. I then want you to extend that block of quartz backwards by thirteen using your slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Stick a block of quartz on the end and join it down to the ground. What you can then do is extend that block of quartz across the back of the build. You want to line it up so that you are level with the front of the build. Place a block of quartz on the end of the quartz slab, join it down to the ground, and you guys can imagine that the next part is us extending the quartz slab forward. So essentially we just want to make what, what kind of sort of looks like a coffee table except it doesn't have a top. So once you have made the coffee table, we are going to take all four corners of our building and we're going to place three block of quartz on top of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And of course, one, two, three. There we go, perfect. So once that has been accomplished, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take the front pair of quartz blocks. We're going to place light blue concrete in between them. And we are going to extend the light blue concrete upwards by an additional row. So the light blue basically just sticks out of the top. We want to extend the sides of the light blue concrete backwards. So you, it, this choice is yours, it, it doesn't really matter too much. You can either extend the blue concrete as far back as the block of quartz, or you can have the light blue concrete um, extend just like one row inwards to create a little bit of depth. So it's up to you whether you kind of like want to match the front in which it's kind of flush with the block of quartz. Um, but we're actually going to see the result of that in just a second. So, you know, the choice is kind of yours. I think that I'm going to make it so that it is even and level with the front of the build. It doesn't really make a big difference whatsoever. So I, it really is a very minor design choice. Perfect. So that is what we want to have so far. I'd recommend filling the top of this build in. It doesn't really warrant any further design. I mean, if you wanted to, you could add, say, like, AC units and vents and uh, generators and stuff onto the top of the building. Although, what I mean is there's no functionality to the roof. Like, we're not going to install any skylights or anything because we are going to be adding a ceiling inside of the actual building. So, I would just fill it in with light blue and be done with it, really. So, I want you to fill the left, right, and back sides of the build in using light grey concrete. Now, the light grey concrete wants to sit 
one row inside of all of the block of quartz. So kind of in a U shape like this. We're going to leave the front alone because that's way more complicated. And we're simply going to fill the rest of these sides in using light grey. I will give you guys options as we progress uh, whether or not you want to add windows in places. I probably wouldn't add any, but there, there are a couple of places where you may want to add some for further detail. But in doing all of that, we give ourselves a nice big empty storefront. So I'm quite happy about that. I think that that looks pretty good. So what we now have to do, of course, is we have to plan out the actual entrance. And the entrance is going to start over here on the left, the way that we're going to do this. And we're going to start from the bottom where we have this light grey concrete. And we're going to place two upside down stairs going right of it. One, two. Stick a grey concrete on the end. Leave a gap of two. Place a grey concrete. Two upside down quartz stairs. Light grey. Two upside down quartz stairs. Light grey. Two upside down quartz stairs. And you'll already have the light grey. Join, and by the way, it's easier if you do this from the inside. Extend the grey and light grey blocks upwards by two each, like that. Place glass pane in between all of these, except for the dark grey blocks, because those are going to uh, be where the entrance is, so we don't have to fill that in. This will actually give us pretty much the entire front of our store, so I'm quite happy about that. That's looking pretty decent, if I do say so myself. And what you can also do is place black glass above where the entrance is going to be. So we're going to have double doors here, but that means you can have a little bit of glass just up above them. So that'll look quite cool. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to do the sign, I think, and we're going to do like the entire, well, the entire sign area, which requires block of quartz. Uh, we need some quartz stairs, we need smooth stone slab, we need black stained glass. I'm not sure whether I want to use this material, I'll, your, I, I would value your guys' opinion. We're going to use some chiseled quartz block, and we're going to need a loom, banners, white dye, red dye, specifically red banners, by the way, because I think they look really good. So, above the door, literally like between the left and right parts of the door, I want you to place a block of quartz on both sides, like above where the grey concrete is, above the quartz slab area. We're going to extend the block of quartz upwards by two on both sides. We're going to place upside. We're going to place regular facing quartz stairs facing inwards at the bottom, and upside down quartz stairs facing inwards at the top to create kind of like a circle. We're going to place smooth stone slabs across the top here, and we want to place glass inside of our washing machine now. Oh, it's not tricky at all because we haven't placed a ceiling yet. So we want to place some glass inside of our washing machine like that, which will from the outside look like this. But you can see how that's kind of a predicament. So um, what I would recommend doing is placing something behind it. Now, the roof is actually made out of chiseled block of quartz, and the roof sits directly above where we have the door frame and where we have the windows. As a result of this, that means that you can partially see some of it here inside the washing machine. So, it's kind of up to you what you want to fill the inside of your washing machine with, but to me, it makes sense that we would just uh, kind of fill it in using chiseled quartz. Um, you can destroy behind the quartz blocks as well, and you can place some chiseled quartz in there too. And um, you'll actually end up, oh, I didn't destroy quite enough, and you'll actually end up with kind of like a cool effect. So, um, if we just destroy this one and this one as well, and you'll kind of have like a cool effect. Uh, originally, I kind of wanted to involve actual water, but it didn't seem quite feasible. So, just to finish off the washer, button, acacia button, any button combination will do. Stick an acacia in the top left, stick a button in the top right, and it just looks like a regular run of the will, run of the mill washing machine. Next thing we have to do is we have to do the sign. I'm sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen, but if you don't have a loom for the banners, get one, because it's so much easier. Um, we're going to place a loom on the ground, we're going to crack it open, and we are going to move uh, all of these. We don't want the. We, we kind of want to have all of the, um, all of the dies and all of the banners and stuff just in the top left corner because it actually works out a little bit easier. So, like 
this. Perfect. We're going to start off by, we, we are, what are we writing? We're writing laundry. We're not writing laundry, it's laundry. So the first letter that we have to make is an L. It's very easy. Stick a red banner in the loom. Chuck all of the white dye in there, that can stay in there for a while. And place a vertical row of white on the left side. Grab the new banner. Place a horizontal row of white dye along the bottom. And that's L. That's as easy as it gets. We now have to do A. A is very easy as well. We're going to place a vertical row of white on the left side, a vertical row of white on the right side, a horizontal row of white across the top, and a horizontal row of white across the middle. And that is actually A, just, uh, just easy. Uh, we're going to grab a brand new banner, and we're going to stick it in our loom. Vertical row of white along the right side, Vertical row of white along the left side. Horizontal row of white right at the bottom. That is U. Now we have to make N. N is very simple. Uh, very uh, similar to U as well, actually. Oh, there we go. Um, so, vertical row of white on the left. Uh, vertical row of white on the right. Horizontal row of white. Top left corner to bottom right. N. So D is a little bit tricky and it looks a little bit weird. So we're going to stick a banner right in the middle. We're going to place vertical row of white on the left. Vertical row of white on the right. I might have said that in reverse order. Horizontal row of white along the top. Horizontal row of white along the bottom. And then we're just going to flesh out the middle bit of the D here. Uh, we're going to stick red dye in there. And then we're going to place kind of like a diamond shape of uh, of red dye inside so that kind of emulates a d it, it sort of also looks like an o but the the only d's that i could find to make kind of look a little bit weird so i don't really want to um we're now going to make the r so that means brand new banner and we're going to stick white dye in there instead i think i managed to drop one of my banners as well um we're going to place a vertical row of white along the left side we're going to place a horizontal row of white along the top and we're going to place a diagonal row of white top left corner to bottom right corner. And that is your R. Grab that banner back. And finally, this is the last banner, Y. We're going to place a diagonal row of... <laughs> All of the stuff fell out of the... We're going to place a diagonal row of white, uh, white dye top left corner to bottom right. Grab that banner. Stick red in there instead. We're going to place it like we're going to like place a half of red dye along the bottom of the banner. Grab that new one, place white dye back in, and then we're going to place the opposite diagonal using white dye. So that is going to be Y. And then if we chuck all of this stuff away and we grab all of our banners, and if we start placing the banners here where we have the button for the washing machine, gap of one. We start with an A, or uh, an L, sorry. A, U, N, D, R, Y. Laundry. Perfect. That's looking pretty good. So, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy all of these banners because I don't like them. <laughs> My least favorite part of doing these tutorials is the banners, honestly. Um, what we're now going to do is I'm just going to clean up all of this concrete just in front of the build. Because I actually think it'd be nice if we had a little bit of flowers. So, the flowers are just going to basically sit um, everywhere that the doorway isn't going to be. So, I just like the idea of having just some, say, like, white flowers just in front of the laundrette. Um, I also like the idea of having a little bit of a path. So, the path can kind of, like, go from the uh, the middle of the entrance way. Maybe it can just be, like, two or so rows in front of the laundrette. Um, you may or may not be able to do this. It depends where you're putting it in your city. It depends whether you're putting it, like, right against a, a pavement or what have you. But just to kind of, like, set the scene a little bit, you know, we've kind of, uh, we've kind of got things going on here. Um, what else can we do? Well, we have to make the floor and the ceiling for the inside of the laundrette. Now, this is actually very, very easy. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to dig out the floor... We're going to replace it with oak, and we'll just continue filling in the ceiling. And you guys know where the ceiling is. It's directly above the windows. 
and once all of that has been done it will look like this so it's completely up to you how you want to fill in your ceiling and your floor i just feel as though that this is quite a nice color combination and it, it kind of just fits the theme of a cozy laundrette so once you yourself have figured out what you're going to do with the ceiling and the floor, I'd highly recommend installing some lights. I'm going to use sea lanterns, you can use any though. And the way that I'm going to figure out where the lights go is, when we have the grey concrete and the light grey concrete between the doors and the windows, I'm going to leave a gap of two between them, and I'm going to place sea lanterns in the ceiling. I'm going to continue this pattern until we go towards the back and we can no longer place any sea lanterns. The good part about this is the fact that if you leave them two gaps apart, you will be able to have evenly spaced lights throughout the entire build, which is always nice and satisfying. So, if you just leave a gap of two between all of it, there we go, perfect, and then the build is nice and little. A couple of things that you might want to do as well is you might want to, say, like, add flowers along the sides of your build, uh, along the back and the sides. You've kind of got a crevice that would otherwise be filled up with pavement, uh, so you could use flowers or you could perhaps use uh, some leaves or whatever or nothing. It's, that's also an option, is nothing. Um, we're going to place doors, so I'm using dark oak doors, but you could, I mean, use any. Um, I don't know why, the dark oak doors kind of just spoke to me, but I, I guess that white doors would probably look better. Or maybe even oak, because it's kind of like part of the colour scheme, but I like the dark oak doors, I don't know what to say. That's actually in the, the entire outside of your lawn track complete, ladies and gentlemen. You've done a really good job if you've managed to do this so far, and of course we only have one thing left to do, don't we? We now have to work our way inside of our lawn track. And we have to make the entire inside. To fill up the inside, you will need all of these materials that I am now showing you on the screen right now. Now, do bear in mind some of these materials might be repeats. We might have already grabbed these before. We might have already used them. Oh, well. This is everything that we will need to make the inside of the laundrette. Please make sure that you've got all of those and enough of them. And once you do, we can get started. So now that we have all of that stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we're going to do here is in the back left hand corner of the laundrette, we are going to place a six white concretes coming across the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to extend forwards, leave a gap, and then place a white concrete, extend it to the wall. We want to place light grey concrete in the back right corner connecting upwards to the ceiling, leave a gap, light grey concrete, leave a gap, light grey concrete. We're going to place end rods in between the light grey concretes at the top to represent racks. We're going to place chests inside of the empty spaces below and we're going to place item frames in front of them. We're going to place a light blue carpet in front of this area here. We're going to place uh, polished and inside stairs on the actual counter space to represent a uh, to represent a cash register, a stone pressure plate next to it because that always looks like it belongs there. <laughs> and we're going to stick a flower pot as well on the counter. Once we have more space later on, we will be decorating this area a little bit further. So what we're now going to do is we're going to grab some new materials and we're going to start making some of the appliances. So white shulker box, light grey shulker box, blue glass, white carpet, light grey carpet, buttons, levers, iron ingots and black stained glass, although we'll need that later on. So, along this wall here, coming towards the counter, I'm going to have a couple of washing machines. You can make these in any way that you like, but I figure that, I mean, these kind of look like washers. So, white shulker box, light grey, white shulker box. If you stick... Oh! We, we need the item frames. So, get rid of the glass and get the item frame. So, item frames in front. Blue stained glass paint inside, that kind of looks like the front of a washer. And I like the idea of just having an alternate coloured carpet on top of these shulker boxes. So you can actually store stuff in there as well. It's, it's kind of difficult to make a washing machine, quite honestly, guys. So if you've got a better design, feel free to use it. So right next to here, 
I like the idea of having kind of like a coin dispenser of some sort. So the coin dispenser can be made out of like polished and like stairs and say like a, an iron block. And all you gotta do is place like an upside down stair, block of iron on top, item frame, ingot because I mean that's that's kind of what like change would be and then you can place like say like a button on top of it to like dispense um, you could even place like a lever like next to the washing machines or so to like flick them on and off you could even place like a button next to it like just to make it look a little bit more something you know we don't maybe we don't need the lever next to the machine but you guys get the idea we could i mean you could even double up on the uh, on the machine if you wanted to although i'm not going to i quite like the little space so that's kind of like how we're going to make the washing machines and we'll also be repeating at the uh, the little coin dispenser as well so the next row of machines we're actually going to make some tumble dryers and they're going to be uh, a little bit different too so the tumble dryer is going to be placed where we have the light grey concrete next to the entrance. We're going to leave a gap of one, and then we're going to place one, two, three, four block of iron extending towards the back of the build. And we're going to extend the block of iron upwards. And we're going to place alternating light grey and white concretes on the front and back side of the block of iron like this. So we're kind of making like a module of them. We're going to need iron trap doors and we're going to need stone pressure plates. And we're going to need that black glass actually as well. And what we're going to do is on half of the tumble dryers, we're going to place iron trap doors. I'd recommend placing it on the light gray ones because it contrasts. Stick a button in front of those particular tumble dryers. And when it comes to the white concrete ones, I'd recommend placing stone pressure plates on top of them, item frames inside, and then black stained glass paint. If you're wondering why we're using blue for the washing machines, that's because washing machines use water. And when it comes to drying, of course, we don't use water. So that's why I figured I'd make the differentiation uh, by using the uh, black glass paint. So um, we're going to do that here and here and I, th I think that it makes it, it j it's just like an interesting sort of collection of stuff to have i quite like it so we're going to now come over onto the opposite side of the build here and we're going to make some more appliances we're pretty much going to mirror what we have over there to be quite honest with you guys so um, we're going to whip out the shulker boxes again the light gray and the white and we're kind of going to plan them out so um, they're going to be parallel to where we just placed all the tumbles and we're going to place like a white shulker box a light gray and then like another white um, we'll probably have a coin dispenser here so we'll leave a gap of two and then we'll I'll have like another white, light like grey, white, or whatever you know color combination you want to use. Um, I'd again, I'd, I'd place the uh, different colored carpets on top just to kind of give them a bit of a character, and you can place the item frames inside of them too, like this. Um, let me grab the andensite stairs and the block of iron, and then we can place the coin dispenser. So perhaps like here, 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 and you could even have like uh, the oh. We, you could even have the lever like here and here again just to kind of like turn them on and off um, Maybe we can we can use our blue stained glass paint as well just to kind of fill things up a little bit just like that and That's looking pretty good. Um, we are going to play some more machines though um, This so I'd, actually I'll, I'll explain this in a second So we're going to again. We're just gonna have a load of um, washing machines So it'll be the same sort of old materials um, it'll just be the shulker boxes, the white carpet and stuff, and we'll need the item frames, and we just need the, uh, the blue glass. And just in this wall here, we're going to leave a gap of one between both sides, and we're going to have a huge collection of them. So, we're just going to have them all plastered over this wall. And what you could do with this area instead is you could choose to have some extra windows and stuff. You you could even like say like only fill in like you could take out uh, some of these machines and you could place like a window on the side if you wanted to. 
so like it could go right here but that that's uh, that's kind of all up to you so like say you could destroy this and then that way you can actually walk around it and then you could have like a window here if you wanted an alternate idea for a window is here right next to where the cash register is as well so that's that's also an option and i, I don't honestly even mind that option at all you could even yeah i mean, I mean that that'd actually look pretty good I'd, I'd be quite i'd be quite happy with that and then that way we've got a little bit of extra natural light in here and uh, and that doesn't look too bad so we've got all of our washing machines and if we want to make the windows I'm hoping I don't need these materials that I just got rid of and to make the windows we basically just make them in the exact same manner that we we have been before so it would just be the upside down quartz stairs just like that and we do the same here of course on the opposite side too so here and uh, we'd also just have to repair this quartz slab so uh, it depends whether you want any natural light inside your laundrette I mean that's completely optional you, got, you can remove any of these machines and you can place those as well instead you know so it's, it's kind of up to you but what else do I want to do? Well, I want to make a little bench. Um, there's going to be a bench here in between where we have these tumble dryers and uh, these like washing machines. I'm going to leave a gap of one upside down stair, place a quartz slab extending off it, and then we're going to have a, and this is hard to place. Uh, oh. So there we go. We're going to have an upside down quartz stair here. So just a little bit of a bench just to kind of like sit and wait for your stuff to uh, stuff to finish. You could even have one here, say, but it's kind of like close to the entrance. So we're just going to have the one. Um, if you want to make the floor look a little bit better, you can use a little bit of um, glazed terracotta. Um, you can make, um, you know, just some patterns in the floor. You can use different kinds of terracottas to make some rugs and stuff. Kind of like this. I think that that looks all right. Um, more so, we can have one here at the entrance. We can probably have quite a big one. I always like to leave a gap of one between stuff. I don't want to... Uh, uh, I, I, I don't really want to, like, crowd a place too much. So, I, I like the idea of just, like, leaving a little bit of a gap, kind of like this. And uh, it's kind of sort of, like, themed with the place. Like, it's a lot of grey and it's a lot of blue. I, I think that actually looks quite nice. And uh, speaking of like greys and blues and stuff, uh, another thing that we can do is of course we can fill this flower pot here. I didn't have loads and loads of room to uh, carry all of this stuff so like we can fill this flower pot with a blue orchid. I love blue orchids. Um, we can add some armour to the chests that we have here so like you can have a helmet and stuff like they're the different things that are, uh, have been washed and dry cleaned and cleaned and you know all of the things that you might have at a laundrette. Um, you can use banners to decorate as well. Um, how many? I don't know how many banners we even need to be quite honest with you, but let's let's just grab a few, and you can kind of like hang them in between um, all of the armor that we've just placed, just to kind of like keep things a little bit lighter and brighter. Um, you can add a potted plant if you want somewhere. I mean, I don't know where quite... I mean, here might be a good candidate because you can still walk around it. And basically, the way that one would make the potted plant is a flower pot, dead bush, and leaves. And basically, that's it. Um, so it's kind of up to you where you want to put it. I mean, here could work. I mean, I did have one back here, but now I've got the window, so... Oh, and one last thing as well is you can use paintings to kind of just uh, spruce the place up a little bit too. So um, you could have... A couple of paintings kind of just like spread throughout the build. Um, there's a few different options to place them, mostly on like the left and right side of the build, kind of like that. I think that it um, just brightens things up a little bit. Um, here I'd probably just have a single painting. I think it just brightens things up. I really like how this turned out. I think it's really, really cozy. And uh, I hope that you guys did as well, but um, we're kind of done, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what your laundrette should look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you are looking at something very, very, very similar to this. As you can see, all I've done is add a little bit of a path, even more so in front of the build, and I've added roads around it. But other than that, it should be the same. The inside of the build should hopefully look very similar to this as well. Nice and colourful, yet adhering to the colour scheme of the entire build. We have... 
A really cozy interior. There's something really calming about this place. It's filled to the brim with machines that we can use for dry cleaning, laundry, all of that stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys have managed to make it. I'm, I'm very, very happy with this one. I really, really love this building. And that's it. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button for more city-related builds and more stuff in general. We don't only just do city builds around here. But if you do want to make more city-related builds, check out the card system description below and the top of the comment section for all of the city-related builds that I have made in the past, present, and future. Check all those out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.